yeah, play the video. Very simply, don't don't try to disfellowship me for sexual acts and I'm a virgin. Sorry, God, don't make mistakes. You don't get two times to fuck me over. What do you mean you went to God and he told you I was guilty? <laughs> you just lied on God. So long. That's it. There's no conversation. Deuces. We kept watching and it got to this clip and he said, you don't get to lie on me. You got two times to fuck me over. You said God told you. Now you're lying on God and all of the vigor and excitement and anger about him being lied on May sense. Mm -hmm. I said, if this isn't religious trauma on display, I don't know what is. For a lot of us, it doesn't matter what our denomination is. Spiritual bypassing happens in all of our denominations. We lean on God when we don't have an explanation of something. So now you got this grown man who feel like these people have lied on him. And right out the gate, he started talking about lies. Right out the gate, he started mm -hmm. trying to clear his name. Right out the gate, he came with like all of his receipts. Because at 13... A lie split his family up and a lie split him from his religious community. There's no resolve. He didn't get any resolve. Hi, my name is Rachel and I'm from New Jersey. I'm grateful for this community because it's an intellectual space that allows me to address the theological elephant in the room. If you want to join the rest of us in our digital community where we engage these topics every day, click on the link in this profile and click join our community.